hello soulmates you're welcome to another beautiful video tutorial so in this video we'll be learning how to make this beautiful off shoulder corset cups corset with busk at the center front now you can see how neatly and beautiful this is now um i will be sharing with us this is part one of the video we'll be learning how to draft and cut in this part one you can see the inside how neatly done the inside is now you can of course you can see that my bony is fixed on the lining because i didn't want it on the main fabric i'll be sharing every details from the cutting to the sewing till everything i'll be sharing with us part two will be the sewing the cup part you can see how neatly done the material i place on the cup is i'll be sharing everything on how i achieve it with us so if this looks like what you want to know how to make you can stick around let's get right into it so the first thing you'll be needing is your material i'm using the excellent satin fabric then you need your hair stay you need your busk i'm using seven hooks some are five hooks then of course you need your original push-up bra cup i could not include it to the first step of the video so i had to show us the cup i used so the first thing i'll be doing now i'll go ahead and take my measurements i'll just do my normal basic draft like we did in the first video so i'll just take my measurements and connect all my lines together So here is the chest line, then here is the apex, known as the bust point also. Mm -hmm. Then here is my under bust, here is my waistline. So I'll go ahead and take my shoulder measurement. I'll remove my half inch, then I'll get the midpoint of this. I'll come in by half an inch. Is I'm not sure that we're making, but I have to do this part to serve as a guide for us. So I'll go ahead and impute, impute my bust measurement first so that I will be able to do the armhole connection. So after this, the next thing I'll be doing now, I'm using the um, length I'm using for this one is 24. Okay, so I have 24 and half, 24 and quarter. So I'll just leave it. I'll use the full length as my hem. So the next thing I'll be doing now, I'll be imputing my nipple to nipple measurement. So the nipple to nipple I'll be imputing, measurement I'll be imputing is going to come to my under bust, from my under bust to my waistline. So if I divide my nipple to nipple by two, I will have four, like this. I will also come here and mark four. After that, I'll connect a straight line. So the next thing I'll be doing, like we did in the other video, is to come up by one inch from the under bust area so it means we are creating a new under bust so i'll connect it like this and from there we now have a new under bust line so after getting your this other line this will be the under bust we are working with why are we coming up is to help raise the bra up like is to help raise it by the time you sew it and you put it on your body your boobs is not going to be falling down 
Hope you understand. So that's why we do that from the underboss to come up by one inch. That is if you're making your corset with a bra cup. Hope you understand. So the next point now, from this place, I will be coming in by half an inch. From the chest line, I will be coming in by half an inch. Now, it depends on you. If you want to have, um, if you want to slant it a bit, you can decide to come down by one inch, right? Then you mark your half an inch from the center, from the center front. Do you get? So, when you're placing your cup, your cup will now be starting from this point. Then your bra cup is going to be slanted because it has to fall on this new under bust line that we just made. Do you understand? So it means you're placing yours like this. Now, if you slant your cup, you should be rest assured that you are exposing part of your boobs. Do you understand? I know that even if you place it straight, your boobs are still going to be exposed, but not as much as when you slant it like this. So for the case of this and how I want mine, I don't want to place it slanted. I want to place it straight. So this half an inch is going to serve as a guide. This half an inch serves as the space you see at the center front in between the two bra cup. So if you add half an inch to the left, half an inch to the right, it makes it one inch, right? So if you if you if you take note, you realize that the space between the two bra cups on any corset you see doesn't really exceed one inch. So um this is the half inch that is going to serve as a guide for me. Then when I'm placing my bra cup, I'll make sure it doesn't exceed this line. Do you understand? It doesn't exceed this line. Now the difference between this one and the other one we did, you know on that other one, we did a curve. Like we, we did a tightening at this part and we curve it. Do you get? But this one will not be doing that. Why? The reason is because it is meant to be straight because of the busk we will be putting. If you make any curve, the box cannot go in. Um, um, the, busk, uh, the busk we want to use cannot go in. Do you understand? So here I will not be doing any tightening at all. Can you imagine? Sorry about that. I stepped on my um, extension. So the next thing now, you know I said when you're placing the scope, it doesn't exceed this point. So we're not doing any tightening here like I was explaining because we're using the busk. And this part has to be straight because our busk is straight. So in case you're wondering what the busk is, I'll be showing us the box very soon. So the next part of it now is to place the cup and draft out our corset. Now one thing I really want you to take note of is the difference between this original push-up bra cup and the other one. You can see how deep it is, right? This is very deep. Like it has a lot of space inside to take your boobs. So you don't need those tightening. Do you get? You don't need tightening. So like this, once you get the origin, it's 1,000 euro per pair. So once you get the original back up, you are good to go. Oh. If you don't have this, like I showed us in the other video, you nosh it like you do the tightening. Hope you understand. So that is that about that. The next point now is to place the back up. Then I'll make sure it doesn't exceed this new underbust that we created with one inch upright. Then when you're placing it, you press it a bit. Like I showed us in the other video, I'm still repeating all of this thing so that we get to understand better, right? So you just don't press it too much. Don't press it like, no. Just give it a press a bit like this. Then just draw it out round. You see what I'm doing? Draw it out round, round like this, right? So you just make sure can you see so like this now your cup is ready right so you just trace it out appropriately so this is it like this our cup is ready so the next thing that we have to do now at this part of the cup I will go around by half an inch I will mark half an inch round it like this hmm? Right? So the next thing I will be doing now, we are done with the cup part of the corset like this. Let me show you what it looks like at the other side so that we don't get confused. So when you press it, you see that it's not exceeding the slime. This is what I'm saying. Do you understand? So after this part is done, 
I'll go ahead to measure my waist. Now, if you have a very tiny under bust measurement, please ensure to use your under bust measurement. Right? If you have a very tiny under bust measurement, hmm, impute your under bust measurement, impute your waist. If your under bust is smaller than your waist, let's say it's one inch, impute your under bust measurement, connect the bust to the under bust, then connect from the waist to connect from the under bust to the waist. I don't use under bust measurement when I'm illustrating with my body because my under bust and my waist they have the same measurement. That's how my body is. I don't know why, but that's that's how my body is. So for those who have very tiny under bust, please impute your under bust measurement before you go ahead to impute your waist measurement. Hope you understand that part. So the ne next thing I'll be doing now is to go ahead and impute my waist measurement. So my okay, my waist measurement is eight point five. I'll go ahead and put my hip measurement, which is 10 inches. Then I'll connect together. So the next point now is to put my um same allowance i use 1.5 like i've always said in all my videos i use So like this, the next part of it now, because it is an off shoulder, right? Because it is an off shoulder I'm making, I will come up by one inch from the chest line, which means that I'm raising the armhole line, right? Because um, the armpits will be too exposed if you do not raise it up. Do you understand? So from this part now, I'm connecting a new armhole line. Let me use the blue marker for it so that we don't get confused so you you are, are you seeing what i've done i came up by one inch like this to connect a new armhole line so i'll be connecting from this point to this point okay so can you see this is the new armhole line because i have to raise it up if you don't raise it up your this thing your armhole will your armpit will be too exposed for you. So the next point is to connect this point to the armhole line. We really do not need all this side because it's an off shoulder. So we have to connect from where the, the bracket is ending to the armhole line. So I'm using my armhole curve to do that part. So I'm connecting like this. Right? I'll connect it to this point. Okay. So this second line stands and this one doesn't. Right, so I've connected the upper part. So the next thing we will have to do now, we'll have to cut out this point like this, like this, like this, and so. So we'll be cutting it together before we go ahead to do the proper side name for the corset. So another point I want, another thing I want us to do is to snatch the waist. Then for this, I'm snatching by one inch. So it means that I'm snatching total of four inches from my waist. Right? I'm snatching by one inch. I've never done that much snatching on my on any of my work before. But I just want to try it out. So if I'm if I'm using one inch here, by the time you times one by four, you will have four inches. So by the time I'm done with the snatching, four inches will be away from my waist already. So you know that I already explained all this part in the first corset class, how to snatch the waist and all of that, and we all understand it already. So I'm not really um, going in details in this video. So if you didn't watch the first video, like you didn't finish, you didn't watch it well, you should go back and watch it. 
so i'm smashing this part away so the next thing now is to cut off then after cutting we'll go ahead and do the tightening then we can now go and do the back pattern so i want us to see the parts i'm cutting away So you see this extra half inch we've already added when we are not cutting on our fabric we are not going to add more i feel it's easier when you just add to your paper especially this part you understand before you go ahead to cut on your fabric So this is what we have like this the front pattern is ready like this so the next thing now is for us to do the tightening at the center i know we all already know how to do the part, that part and i will still be illustrating it anyway so what you have to do is to get a fresh paper like this So I've gone ahead to roll the lines out like one inch. I measured one inch and I divided the one inch into two, like we did in the first um, corset class. So I'll be placing my pattern on it like this. Then this other one so one thing you have to make sure of is that the line they will be occupying at this point is equal so i'll just get a straight line here like this so everything is equal like i'll get everything equal so i'll just go ahead and get more tape tape everything down then we can connect it together so I've gone ahead to tape it down, the both sides are taped down equally. So this is the one inch we've shared in between. And this is the demarcation of the one inch. So we have half inch to the left and we have half inch to the right. So we'll be, we'll be connecting from the midpoint. Here is the midpoint. I'll be connecting from this point to this point. Then from this point to this point for the tightening. So when we go ahead to cut on our material, will not be adding extra stitch, extra allowance to cut. Can you see? To this edge. Then from the midpoint, this other midpoint, I'm connecting to this edge. So the next thing is for me to cut. So the front pattern like this is ready 
So we'll go ahead and draft the back pattern now. So for the back pattern, I already have the basic um, block drafted out and I've done my dart. Now, because it's a corset, you have to extend your dart upwards to the chest line. Do you get it? creates a tightening from this part straight. So now on the waistline, I came down by 5 inch for the dart to create the dart. Right? So after that, the next thing we'll be doing now is to connect the armhole curve for the back. Even though we don't need it. Same way we connected for the front. And don't forget that if you're connecting your armhole for the back, it has to end here. Right? It has to be here. So I'll go ahead and connect. Because we're not coming in by half an inch. So I'll connect the armhole curve for the back this way. Then the same way we came up by one inch to extend it at the front side, it's the same thing we are repeating on the back pattern because most importantly, the front and the back has to be equal, right? Especially at the armhole line. So it has to be equal. I will connect the one inch, which means I'm reconnecting the armhole line from this point to the midpoint of the line. So you'll be wondering why, oh, if you are going to reconnect it, why did you connect this one first? I just don't want to confuse us, right? So now, I feel you will understand it more if I take it step by step. So this is me reconnecting the other line. So after reconnecting now, this is our new armhole line. So the next point is to do the waist snatching. I use one inch for the front and block. So it has to be equal. I also come down by one inch. Then I'll connect from this point, straight line. We should be used to our snatching um, part of the video already by now. So I will extend it downwards as usual. And I will use, I will connect with my pattern master like this. So after that, I'm just going to blend it this way, right? Just to remove the sharp edges. So after we've done that part, on this part now, I will connect it. Now, one thing I want you to know is that this is an off-shoulder block, right? And for this off-shoulder block, if you make your if you make your neck uh, neck depth for the back pattern, if you make it too low. My dear, it is not going to hold you. Do you understand? It's not going to be firm on your body. So whenever I'm making anything off shoulder, I make sure that the back pattern is not too low. If I really do not want it to rest, the back neckline, I mean, if I really do not want it to rest on the chest line, I will not exceed one inch below the chest line. But for the cost of this one, I am resting it on the chest line. So I'm connecting straight from this point. So at the end of the day, you see that we really do not need this line. But you have to just go through all of those former uh, steps to get to where you're going. So you don't get confused, right? So this is me connecting it. I want it to fall on the chest line. So now, like this is the bodice of the corset I'm going to work, be working on. So the next thing for me to do now is to cut it out. So for this corset now, I will not be doing any back spacing. I'm not doing back spacing because um, I don't think I want to add a closure to it. But if after making it and the back is still exposed, because I'm already snatching a lot from the waist, if it's too exposed, I can always add a closure. So I've already taught us how to add a closure on the first um, corset video. So if you feel like adding a closure to your own, you can. But for now, I don't feel like adding a closure for now. So you can see how I'm cutting it. So you take note of all of this point when you want to call to your own also. And don't forget to label it too because it can be tricky. So the thing is, if you don't want yours to have only um, two um, star lines, like you don't want it to just be two, you want to create different channels you can divide it as much as you want but for me this is how i want it to be so like this both the front and the back pattern is ready
the next step is to go ahead and cut so i'll go off the camera i'll cut on the material cut on the lining i'm using hasty for this i'll cut the hasty then i'll come and show us everything then we can go and sew together right i've gone ahead to cut on my material right so you can see how i labeled it the center front the side front so for the back pattern also i have the side back and i have i mean i have the center back which is the cb and i have the side back which is the sb so here i i went ahead to cut on the main fabric i'm working with an excellent um, um satin this is the main fabric this is the door face i'm using as lining right and this is my um haste that i will be going to iron on it and we'll be i'll be showing us the ironing part also before we now go ahead to cut so now what i want to bring to your notice is that you can see that this part i didn't add extra half an inch to join it we already have an extra allowance to join this place together and it serves down weight it gives it this fitness and firmness do you understand so you don't need to add extra half an inch to this part at all because we've already done it so on this part i also do not add because we've already added it on the paper like i was explaining earlier at the beginning of the video right so that's done the part we added half an inch is the upper part can you see this part let me check if you're seeing okay this part is where i added half an inch the upper part like this for the front the upper part like this because we'll be turning with the lining we'll be turning the main fabric with the lining so we need the half an inch on the upper part that is that about the front so for the back for the back pattern um the center i added half an inch to the center can you see then on this side also i also added half an inch because if you remember we just cut out we just cut the that away for the back so um half an inch half an inch on both sides then on the upper part also we added half an inch that we will use the lining to turn the material um the main fabric with so after that i'll be going to the table to iron so this is the busk we will be using for this so this is my busk and i'm thinking um it is too short but let's see what we can do about that so the next video will continue from here.